you know, through this all, when you really look at all of this and you observe life and you hear other people and what they're talking about and discussing, all that everybody really wants is to be appreciated here. That's all it comes down to. Everybody. Everybody just wants to be appreciated. Everybody just wants to have somewhere that people need them, you know, uh, and, and let's not lie to ourselves. This is how it is for every single one of us, you know, even me. I do this because I need to have an outlet to speak to other people, even though it's me the one speaking, I need to know on the other end that somebody is listening to what I'm saying, that somebody is there, somebody that appreciates me, somebody that is going to help support my platform. You see what I'm saying? Without the people, see, here's something that a lot of people might not understand, but the people are everything, yet the people are nothing if they're not doing anything to... Uh, give back to themselves or other people, then it's really nothing. I mean, it's, you know, and I'm not getting into that deep. That's not what I'm doing and talking about in this video. But through it all, we all just want to have an outlet where we can be ourselves, where we can talk about things that we want to talk about, where we feel appreciated. You know, it's like someone that, it's like someone that uh, works on a farm and they go there because they want to have something to do and they want that family there to say hey George hey Joe hey Bill nice to see you today uh, we got some things to do I got some things for you to do and that's what I mean by having a refuge and that being the only thing that I really want to do anymore because there's really, I'm about to get hit here, there's really, once you uh, come to, you start getting older, you realize that this is really all that's left is the craft, uh, doing something in your spare time that actually means something that is providing a need for yourself and other people and even though i'm speaking words on here i'm running my mouth you know somebody calls me the rambling king yeah i'm i'm rambling i am rambling but see that's how you see it for yourself that i'm rambling but actually i'm giving you information for yourself to help yourself and to realize things for yourself so that you can cope for yourself and see other people are not going to tell you some of the things that I tell you. And that's just the God's honest truth. That's just the brutal, honest nature of my channel is that I'm not going to bullshit my subscribers. I'm not going to tell you any lies. I'm not going to get involved with the things that other people get involved with just because it's popular or it's the popular opinion or because I'm bored and I want to fit in somewhere. No, no. See, that's all. That is all the realm of fake stuff. That's all the realm of disingenuous people that are doing disingenuous things and I don't have time for that and I'm not going to associate myself with that kind of stuff. I'm just not going to do it. And that's what I mean by no association when I did the video about no association, like hi bye. You know, it's I'm on the mind state of if someone is in my personal life, if they're not productive, then more than likely they're thinking destructive. I'm not saying with every little thing, but with most things, you know, are we productive people 
or are we destructive people? Are we willing to call ourselves out or are we going to stay hidden from the world and hide behind a computer screen and, you know, hate the world and keep doing all that stuff? What is that doing for any of us while we're here? What is that doing for you and I? You know, and I have reached the paradigm of seeing what that really was doing to me and what it does to other people. But it's not up to me for people to do anything. You know, I realize how I have no control over what other people do, what other people say. I can just keep doing the best for me. I can just keep making videos. I can just keep being real with myself. And I know in time, I will resonate with other authentic, genuine people that can actually be human around other people, that can actually say what is going on, that can actually be honest no matter how they feel. If they have something that they're, they're thinking of you, they will actually tell you instead of hiding it and keeping it a secret or keeping it quiet and holding it in. See, because when we hold stuff in, all we do is we turn into atomic bombs and then we blow up on everybody in the world. So this is what I mean by we're all our own atomic bombs here and we are all the diffusers of those bombs but a lot of us we don't want to diffuse those bombs you see we want to keep packing the bomb we want to keep uh, preparing the bomb we want to keep it going and stuffing it with things instead of letting it go and moving on and say okay I'm diffusing the situation here you see I'm not gonna keep doing that to myself because that's like knocking myself upside the head with a wooden stick over and over again. It doesn't make any sense. So yeah, it's... <laughs> through it all, through the thick and thin, when we are on a bed or we are at, towards the end of our lives, all that we're going to be looking for, that's why I would say, find it now, get it now, Look for it now. Find a refuge. Find somewhere where you will be appreciated by people. That people that will uh, be real with you. People that will not bullshit you. People that will actually tell you how it really is and not put on this facade and fake through their whole lives. You see, th this is what's going to matter in the end. Is people that are going to be there by your side when you're about to go or you're going through something you know they're gonna actually listen to you you know see this this is what really matters when you think about it is being appreciated and having somewhere where you look forward to being or being a part of but you're not doing it just to simply fit in you, you see you you you're like me if you're like me you fit in loosely you know, you're somewhere where you need to be for a time. And then when it's time for that to go, you move on. See, you don't get attached to things. You don't get, you don't get attached to people and things even though you want to have people that appreciate you. Even though you want to be heard. You want to be respected. You want to be listened to. It's still that this attachment thing comes from us not being able to let go of certain situations. See, we get too attached to stuff. And, and I know for me, that's the problem with me right now. I got kind of attached to this place that I'm at. And, and I'm hesitating on going somewhere and doing something because it's... The situation I'm in, it's, you know, my pharmacy is right down the street. The place I go is down the street. Well, it's pretty far, but my mother lives right next to it. Now, that has nothing to do with my living situation, but where I'm at, the food store's right down the street. 
the giant and all that's right down the street. Uh, my apartment is on a third floor. It's very quiet. But see, the thing that I don't like about it is you can hear literally right through the walls. When I'm doing my videos, I know that my neighbor can hear me and I don't want to be bothering anybody else. You see, I don't want to be interrupting their sleep and them hearing what I'm saying all the time because then it's like they're focusing on me and hearing me and it's just very awkward. And that's why I just came out here right now to do a video and why I don't do more videos because there was a time there when I did have the room to myself and there was nobody in that room next to me but I just wasn't uh I wasn't really in the mood to make too many videos at that time or I didn't have really anything to talk about at that time and it's kind of weird how that happens because if there's somebody there then I want to do more but if there's nobody there and I know I can do everything you see this is how this is how contradicting we are this is how we just go against the grain with a lot of things. It's just, it's really weird how we do that. Like if you tell somebody, hey, look, I need help with this thing. They won't help you. But if you say, no, I don't want and need your help, they'll help you. It's like always the opposite. If you, if you say, look, man, I might come over, but I'm not really in the mood. You know, I don't really do that. They'll keep bugging you. But if you say, hey, man, I want to see you and I want to come over and we're going to do some things and yeah and, and it's like okay well then they're kind of like yeah and it's kind of like they're trying to avoid you then and it, it's just like with men and women in relationships it's very weird it's very strange it's like women like bad guys and that this is a whole nother story I mean you can't fall for this stuff either with the whole bad guy women like bad guys no, women like men that know themselves, that are uh, confident in themselves. With, that's what went, women want a man that can guide them and say, hey, look, I have this going for me. And are you coming with me? I'm going and doing this thing. Hey, come with me. I got this going. See, women do not like leading the way for men. This is what us men have to understand is women do not like uh, these I don't want to say soft men because some women like soft men some women like men that are uh, very kind and gentle and whatever but most women want a man that knows what he wants to do has something going for himself why else would she want to be with you and I why would you want to be with a girl unless she's absolutely uh, drop dead gorgeous and banging and got a, a decent butt, nice titties and a, a nice face, a banging body? Why else would we want to be with a, a girl that doesn't have that or or doesn't have some of the attributes that you like? You know, it's like if it's not clicking. If it's not there, it's just not there. You can't force somebody to like you or have a, some kind of connection or some kind of genetics or some kind of flame or spark there that gets each other going. If it's not there, it's just not there, you know? But our minds, see, we want what we want. And when we don't get what we get, well, we act like buffoons and we do dumb things in the name of jealousy, in the name of feelings, in the name of, oh, they did me wrong because they didn't like me and they hurt me and all this. No, you just really hurt yourself. You really, you let your feelings get the best of you. You let your jealousies, you let your, your emotions get the best of you. That's what it comes down to. I was just listening to another video of someone and he was talking about how you know a man walks in and he sees the woman cheating and all this it's like the universe doesn't care about that <laughs> you know the the woman wanted sex and she did what she wanted the guy wanted it and he did it and the guy that wasn't doing it well he wasn't doing it you know you shouldn't have 
got into this relationship if whatever, but who can you, you, you just, you can't trust people in these situations. And that, this is why the whole thing with marriage to me is very funny because I'm not for it, but I am myself for polygamy. I am for responsible polygamy. I, I am all for having 10, you know, women that, 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 appreciates me and I appreciate each one of them separately individually and I do my thing with each one responsibly individually that's what I am that's who I am you know I always been into if you're a man and you say that you don't love women and you have a sex drive you're absolutely full of shit this whole manosphere bullshit when these guys are talking down on women and saying they're the problem in all this, no. You're the problem, not them. Yeah, they do their, their shit too. You see, but they would say, oh, you're just, you're a suck up. You're a, you're an N NPC. You're a, you're a, 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 you do whatever with women and all this stuff. See, this is how, this is how the internet and the manosphere and all these things are brainwashing you and I into thinking a lot of this stuff when actually we just can't get over things and we don't change things about ourselves or we can't handle rejection. You know, you know how many times I got rejected from girls that I liked? You would look at me and go, oh yeah, well, you're a handsome guy and you know, you can get a woman. I can't, I'm ugly. Who is to say that you're ugly? I said this before in a video. Who the hell are you to say that you're ugly or pretty? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, people. Nobody is beautiful or ugly. It's all up to judgment. It's all what the person thinks. See this, we don't think like this about stuff though. Do you know how many women that I looked at and thought were banging and I wanted to have sex with and I wanted to bang their back out and whatever and I got rejected and I got pissed off and I let my feelings get the best of me and I did all the things that a teenager does and you know the whole puppy love the whole oh I got rejected so I hate the world thing <laughs> I, I've been I did I've been there and done that so many times it, it's and I don't even really have <laughs> I'm gonna just be honest with people I don't even really have a sex drive like that but, uh, yeah, I would still, I'm still up for it, you know, but see, it's going to take a very specific woman for me. It can't be a woman that lets her feelings take over or her emotions and she's driven by that alone. See, I look for smart women, women that know themselves, women that are logical thinkers, women that, uh, actually take responsibility for their own lives, you know, and don't want me just because I have things, you know, they want to do whatever with me because there's a connection there, you know, they, they want to actually be, uh, take time with me and me take time with them because I actually want to do something. I want to have a time with them. You know, I want to have sex or go out to eat somewhere, go bowling, do whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it doesn't mean that uh, we have to get into this relationship or we have to get married or it has to be something serious. You see, this is, this is the problem I have is like, as long as we're being responsible, as long as we are not going crazy with what we're doing, I don't see anything wrong with it as long as we're responsible, we're wearing a condom, we're not just out banging the whole world, and you know what I mean, and spreading diseases and shit, because that, see, the irresponsibility is where the problems start, and that's why no irresponsible person, no person that can control, that can't control themselves, has no business with having these kinds of of things go on in their life. They have no business with it at all because they're irresponsible. They have no self-control. They don't care about anybody else. 
And this is what I'm saying. If you don't have self-control, then you don't have control. You're out of control. You're either productive or you're destructive. It's just either or, you know? And, you know, I understand how some people can be like that. But I, I just, when I really look at it, I just ask myself, what... What is causing some people to act the way they act? You, you know, what, what, what is going on in some people's minds and thoughts and head to make them act like they do and react to some of the things they do? And they don't do anything to change anything at all. It's just they just keep letting the same stuff happen. They keep doing the same things. They keep talking about women how they talk about and women keep talking about men how they keep talking about them. And it's like it's just the same repetitive thoughts and thinking over and over and over again. My goodness gracious, get over it and move on and go to something different. You know, there are plenty of fish in the sea, people. There are millions and billions of men and women in this world. Just because the one said no or the one didn't like you back or the one wasn't attracted to you, there are millions of other ones. Don't let this rejection thing hold you back. It's stupid. It, it's, it, it, look, you have to look at rejection like it's not a thing. There is no such thing as rejection. It's just they were not into you. They did not like how you looked. They weren't into you. They weren't attracted to you. Get the fuck over it and move on. It's that simple. It's that simple and easy. And if we can learn to, to think like that, okay, she said no or this. And I'm not even talking about relationships. I didn't even want to get into, uh, see, I don't, I don't like using the word relationships. I like using uh, the word a time with someone, a responsible time, a responsible chemistry with somebody. See, I don't like relationships and marriage and all that, getting together, hooking up. I don't like these words. These words are for people that are still going by the fabric of how society does things. I don't do things like society. I don't do things like other people, you see? That's why when you come here and you stick around, <laughs> the paradigm is gonna switch with everything. The way that you see men, women, children, life, agriculture, uh, a refuge, how you live, the way that you pay rent to somebody, you're gonna realize that all of this, you can actually you can actually do something different than that. You can actually go and do something uh, yourself. If you have something saved up or you really want to do it, you can do that. We're just holding ourselves back. That's all. We're letting the world and the thoughts and opinions and views of other people hold us back from everything. Because, see, we're not looking for appreciation we're looking for validation. We're looking for approval. We're looking to fit into the norms and the popular things. And this is what we keep doing. Every damn day I see so many people doing this shit. And it makes me sick. It makes me sick to my stomach. Sick, absolutely sick to my stomach. It makes me want to barf because I see how people... They're not even living their lives. They're letting other people, they're letting the world live their lives. It's absolutely insane. And I'm going to keep doing this until I can't do it anymore because I don't know nothing else. <laughs> I don't know nothing else. See, if, if you can't take me for who I am and you can't take me for the things that I go by because, see... I'm going to be responsible. You see, I'm, I know what I'm doing. I have been there and done it, and I did all those things. So I already know about them. So, you know, in order for someone to look at me in a certain way, have you looked at yourself yet? Have you looked at your own life and what you're doing? I already know for myself. So when I look at people, I'm looking at them, and I'm looking at them and saying, okay, well, what are you doing? 
I'm reflecting my life onto them. So if I see something in them that is the complete opposite or something that they're still disillusioned by or they're they're being played by or they're going by the indoctrination and conditioning of everything, then I say, well, they just don't get it yet. And see, it needs this needs to be heard. If this isn't heard, then we're never gonna change the way that we think. It's just gonna keep being the same old, same old shit all the time. And then we wonder why we're stuck. We wonder why there's absolutely nothing to, we have nothing to live for and we hate everybody because everybody keeps saying the same shit. Everybody keeps lying to themselves. Everybody keeps playing this strange game of fitting in and trying to get approval and trying to look a certain way. It's absolutely insane to me. But see, they would probably think that I'm insane. So, see, I don't blame them, but I tell them in my head, I go, damn, you, you just don't know. And, and see, people would get offended by that. They would take that as you're hurting my feelings. You're telling me something that's different. So you're hurting my poor little feelings, my insecurities, my beliefs, all of this stuff. When actually, I'm... I'm I'm helping you to get out of that kind of lifestyle that you think that you need to live and you don't need to live it. It's just you're holding up the weight of approval and validation. You're holding up the weight of, oh, these people are going to look at me a certain way if I don't act this way or I don't talk this way or I don't jive this way or I don't look this way. And you're still going by those things in your life. When I'm out here or I'm walking around or I'm doing anything that I do, whatever anybody thinks of me is irrelevant. Whatever they think is what they think. I can't help what they think. But see, it's like most of us have not even gotten over. We're worried about what other people think of us. There's no way that you can get this in your system. There is no way that you're ever going to allow this to absolutely be the structure of your being until you stop worrying about what other people think of you. You're, you're, you're still going to live by all the indoctrination, all the conditioning, all of what the TV and what the popular thing says. And that's the world that most people are living in. And that is the world that I myself have woke up from. And now I am doing what I can do in the little bit that I can do to wake people up out of that and say, look, you are literally asleep for other people. You're, you're literally letting people determine the outcome of your life. You're literally letting the words and the views and the opinions and all of these things be run by other people in the world. And when I say something like, fuck the world, I mean it in a way where I'm saying, I don't care what you think about me. You know, nobody's going to tell me how to live. I don't mean it in the terms of, I don't care about anything. In the terms of saying, uh, what people may think that I'm saying about it. But it's, if you don't get to that point, then all of this is going to be like, uh, like, uh, rhetoric. It's just going to be like, I'm babbling. It's going to be like, I'm, uh, what, what somebody said, like I'm rambling, but I'm not rambling. I'm telling you the most important thing you will ever hear in your lifetime because nobody else is going to tell you this. Because, see, nobody else is looking into these things. Nobody else is actually being a witness to the very things that they're living by, the very things that they're studying, the very things that they have been through and took in a brutal, honest look at it, have been through drug addiction, have studied wars, have studied the, hum the human element of everything. There's not too many people that can tell you that because there's not too many people talking about it to people. 
So how are the people going to know the word if they don't hear the word? You see what I'm saying? And it, for some of us, it's going to take a lot to get through to this thick and prideful and egotistical and extra baggage and all of this stuff. I got to prove things to people. I got to fit in somewhere in the popular opinion. I got to keep doing all of these things. And this is what we're living by. And you don't realize that is the dream. That is the very fabric of the hallucination that you think is, going, is helping you or there's something to get there. There's nothing to get there. There's absolutely nothing to get there. You're not going to find anything but more worry, more misery, more trouble, more insecurities, more going by your feelings. That's all you're going to get with that. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I'm not just talking on here. Yes, I'm talking, but I am telling you something that nobody is going to tell you. Your parents, your friends, your co-workers your school, nobody, nobody on the internet, YouTube, Instagram, nobody's going to tell you what I'm telling you because they're too worried about putting on the act. They're too worried about looking like something that they're really not. They're still putting on for people. I'm not doing that no more. <laughs> and see, when you get on board with this ship, when you get on board with this energy, you ain't never going to be the same, man. You ain't never going to be the same, woman. When you come here and you listen to this, you ain't going to be the same. And that's the confidence that I have in my, uh, in my, my words and what I'm saying to people. Because I know my energy is not like other energy out here. I know that I'm looking into things that a lot of people ain't looking into. I'm willing to speak things that other people are not willing to speak. I'm willing to go into terrain where others will not walk. And I've done that already. I've already done that. So I'm just a living testimony to what I'm telling you. I'm the actual living testimony. You see, other people, they say, this is my testimony and this is what you know, I did and things that I do. Go ahead, bro. And they, they talk about it like that, but really it's just the show that they're showing to make it look like, oh, I changed and my life is so much better now and everything is whatever. And I'm not saying that every single person is faking it to make it. I'm not saying every single person is doing that or living that way. But I can see through the act. I can see through all that stuff. And it takes this kind of discernment. Quote, metaphorically, spiritual discernment. Energy discernment. Soul discernment. This discernment that has to do with knowing things and looking into things and studying things and hearing somebody that has actually been there and done it and knows these things you see and there's not too many people that's just the brutal honest truth because i can't say that it's so many people when it's not so many people <laughs> i can't say that i'm going to have a huge following or people are going to, you know, that this is going to be a very big channel because more than likely, it's never going to be a big channel. They might get a couple thousand subscribers, tens of thousands subscribers. Hell, I don't know if it can get a hundred thousand. That's great. That's awesome. But you got to remember, if you are here, it is not about the numbers with me. It is not a numbers game. It is not a popularity thing it is a real thing it is a thing where you are done holding on to identity you are done holding up a label you are done holding on to uh types and genres and kinds and techniques there is none of that that's gone and the old has passed behold everything has become new 
That is what I'm telling myself every day. And that's what I'm living. I'm actually speaking into existence what I'm living right now. And damn right, it feels good. And I'm glad. I'm glad I feel good. And I want you to feel good with me. And I want you to come on this journey with me. I want you to appreciate me like I want to appreciate you. That's what I'm going for. And that's what is going to be written on the tablet of my tombstone whenever I go. Because I have not lied. I have not cheated you. I have not bullshitted you. I have not put on a front and facade for you. And if people are doing that, hi, hi, I wish the best for you, but bye. Like, you know, it's hi, like, like, uh, so what do you do with your life? Uh, hi, uh, what, what, what are, what do you have going for you? What do you want to do? And, and they give me some answer that they're just absolutely, it's just nothing. Well, then I'm like, okay, well. <laughs> I'm not doing that, so I don't mean to be offensive. I don't mean to piss you off or make you angry. But you got to realize it's all just a part of what I'm talking about. <laughs> Once you get away from this, I'm telling you, <laughs> everything is going to be absolutely different. It's, I can't explain it to you in a video. I, I really can't. I can't put it to you any clearer than what I'm putting it to you now, but... All that I can say is your pendulum, you're, you're going like this. You're not going like this. Oh, oh, I hate everybody. I can't stand people. You know, I hate life. Or you get to another mood and you're like, oh yeah, I know everything and I'm right and I can't be wrong. I'm not a hypocrite. Oh no, I would never do that. I'm Mr. Goody Two Shoes. I'm Mrs. Goody Two Shoes, and I can't do anything wrong. And my cootie don't stink, and my balls don't stink. And you know, I'm just, I'm just being silly here, but I'm being serious at the same time because, like I said, if you don't understand neutrality, then you don't understand yourself. If you don't understand yin yang, you don't understand yourself. If you don't understand that the S-U-N and the S-O-N are kind of in and of itself, metaphorically the same, you don't understand yourself. If you don't understand that you are both, you're not Jesus Christ, metaphorically you are a reflection of Jesus Christ and a reflection of Satan all in one. See, when you really understand that and you really understand that you are the ultimate hypocrite here, you are the ultimate contradiction, you are the very thing that you're pointing at, pointing back at itself. Damn, can I get a hallelujah on that? For real, can I get a hallelujah amen on that? I, I mean, it's, it's time for this to to get out into the world. It can't, it can't stay hidden. See, the light cannot hide. You can't hide the light and you can't hide the darkness uh, anymore either when you're like this. See, you're willing to let your light shine, but you're also willing to remember the dark and to still say, I know what the dark is. You see, I relate to the dark too but you don't stay in that mindset. Most of us are just staying in the dark or we're bragging about the light. We're being boastful about the light. Don't do either or, but do both. Just don't do either one too much or not at all. You see, and once we catch this, once we catch this, oh my goodness, once we catch this, you will never look at people the same. You will never look at when you go to the store and see people, uh, when cars are going by, when you go outside, when you make music, when you draw, when you write, when you make videos, anything you do, it's going to completely, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I was sleeping, now I'm awake. Oh my gosh, I was a slave and in bondage to this. Now I'm free. And I'm not saying that everything's just going to become perfect and everything's just going to be right. That's not how it works. It's just 
there's a certain part of your mind where you have that folder where you know this and and it's it's there you know it's a it's a folder in your in your uh your desk i don't know it's some kind of spot that is there in your mind and you just know that you know it's a knowing it's it's just an energy of knowing that you know you know what i mean and when you say something like i've been there and done it and i know and and all these things people that don't know will say oh well you're just you just think you're better than me oh what yeah you have that and i don't see you're telling yourself that you don't you're telling yourself that you can't you're telling yourself i'm this person you're telling yourself oh i can do this but not this you're associating yourself with labels and identities still you're not free if you're doing that, you're not free. Free yourself. Free yourself from it all. And you're the only one that can do it. Brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers, sons, daughters, whoever's listening, if you've been here for a while or you've only been here for a little bit, you can free yourself from that if you really want to, but it's up to you. So I'm going to end with that. I don't want to keep pushing it too far because my time is about to run out on my phone anyway. I don't have enough space. So there, I ended the video just on time because you know why? I trusted that it would go the way that it was supposed to go. I didn't worry about it. I let it be what it was. And here I have a couple minutes left of storage. So there you go. When, when it's time, it's time, you know? And I have no control over that. It's inevitable that things are going to happen. So let them happen. Trust that it's going to happen the way that it's going to happen. And don't try to make it happen the way that you think it's going to happen. Don't have expectations. Quit looking at people like you're expecting them to do something. And even I need to tell myself this because lately i've been expecting people to do things that i know that they're not going to do until they want to do it so i can't expect them to do it and i'm telling you i i'm i'm wrong i i shouldn't do that you see but i expect of you what i expect of myself and when i look at you i'm reflecting on myself when i look at you you understand see we all get like angry when someone's looking at us like what are you looking at why are you looking at me? That person's staring at me. See, that is just, that is just us still projecting all of our stuff onto other people because we think that they're doing that. It's, it's just, it's amazing stuff here. You know, it, it's, come on, you can't deny it. You, you, you can't deny this energy. Give it a thumbs up, help support the channel, spread this message, y'all, come on. Don't keep this to yourself, spread this to the world. There are people that need to hear this. There are people that are dying, there are people that are suffering, there are people that need to hear a word today. So spread the damn thing. I'm not gonna sit here and talk all soft like, you know, well, yeah, if you would just help other people that no, no, you can't do it like that. Sometimes you got to get rough, rugged, and sometimes it got to be the hard way. It got to be tough love sometimes, you know, yes, there's a time to be kind and there's a time to get dead ass serious and brutally honest with shit. You know, there's a time for all of that stuff, but this is not that time. The, the, we are in parallel we are in some very strange weird times that people i i think that just it's it's not good from what i'm seeing but but yet again i can't judge them i don't know what they're going through i don't know what they need but all i know is that i need this for myself every day because i'm i'm human like you and i need to cope and i need something to distract me I need to hear a word every day and that's what I'm doing to myself I'm giving myself a word 
you know, and give back to the word. That's when you will get the word is when you give back to the word, you will also receive the word. That's how it goes in life. That's the principles of this thing. We got to keep, we got to stop keeping stuff to ourselves. We got to stop being selfish and keeping whatever's going on in our lives to ourselves. We have got to let it out of our closet. If we keep stacking them bones up and we keep letting it pile up, then all that we're doing is we're going to have a bunch more shit that we got to get out. So just get it out. <laughs> get it out. What's the point of holding on to it? It's just keeping us down. It's just extra baggage keeping us heavy every, every day. Why do we want that? Why would you want that as a person? Free yourself. Free yourself Free yourself, hallelujah. Praise God, glory to everything. Yes, it's a horrible glory. There's good and bad, there's right and wrong, there's negative and positive, there's up and down, round and round, town, cities, uh, ugly, pretty. We all have these labels, but what does it matter? It doesn't mean anything. We just want to be appreciated and we want to have something that we need in life. That's it. So let the sun shine down upon all of you, even in your darkness, even in your most darkest place. I know it sounds cliche. I know it sounds phony, but you know what? It's actually real. Later.